Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. I hope you guys have been doing well and enjoying your time. You know, this past couple of weeks, my family and I have been working on our backyard. Our backyard is not very nice yet, not to where we want it, but we're fixing it and we're putting flowers and we're putting, making grass grow and we're doing all sorts of things to make it look good. And as I'm planting some of these flowers, these rose bushes, um, hibiscus and many other types of, of flowers and trees, I was thinking, what has God given us in nature that, that we love and that brightens our days? right so like i said he gives us flowers right flowers are beautiful there's different colors different shapes different sizes um and you know a lot of times we cut them down we make bouquets uh, we give them to people you know flowers are beautiful right and flowers also help the bees right so our bees come and they get the to pollinate them and all that stuff and then we grow more flowers somewhere else and we also have trees. Trees are great, um, great plants, great, you know, they're trees, they're huge. And I was thinking, what can a tree give us? How can we be happy with a tree? Well, a tree gives us shade when it's super hot. It can cover us a little bit from the rain, you know, as long as it doesn't rain too hard. A tree is what we use to make, you know, to get wood, to make furniture, to make our homes, you know, to make many different things. Um, and how do we get all these things? Well, these are, all of nature is a gift from God. God gave us rain, you know, for the water, whether it be drinking water or to water our plants and our valleys and our hills. Um, he gives us snow. Snow is beautiful to play in, right? During the winter. And once it melts and it runs down the mountains, again, it waters our plants. It gives water to our animals that are out there. It might even give water for us, right? He has given us sand. You think, what does sand do when you go to the beach? Sand is, can be soft. It can get very hot on a hot day. But the sand also keeps the water from going to a certain level. And that helps us enjoy our beach time. You know, as people, Jesus gives us, God gives us so many things. He has given us the ability to choose, to choose what we want to do, to be creative because he gives us that ability. That's why we've made some, you know, people have been able to do so many things. They've been able to do, again, furniture, homes, um, just so many things with so many different um, types of, you know, you can use, they make wood stuff, metal stuff, porcelain stuff, just God giving us creativity for so many things. But there's one thing that God has given us more than anything, and it's not even a thing. Um, he has given us his love. And that love, he showed it to us in a very special way. He gave us his son, Jesus, to come and give us life. You know, of all the things that we have, have we ever thought of what God gives us and do we really appreciate it and are we happy and do we thank him for everything he's given us whether it be our family our home our pets our animals right because many of us have those whether it be the ability to draw or to write or to sing or to read just the ability to do so many different things all that comes from Jesus all that comes from his love to us I want you guys to remember this week, as you walk out on the street, as you see trees, grass, flowers, as you see your pets or other people's pets, as you see all the great buildings that have been created and all the people out there, think about it. Jesus, God, our God has given us everything to be able to have um, a nice life, I believe. So there's no greater gift than Jesus in our lives and his love. Remember that, children. Let's say a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for loving us, for sending your Son to give us life, for giving us your love in such a great way. We pray now that you help us see your love in everything we look at, in everything we do, and in everything we choose. May you be our guide, and may you stay with our children every single day, every single moment. 
We pray this in your name. Amen. Have a great day, guys. Have a great week. And just remember, Jesus' love is everywhere. Bye.